Kia ora fine and welcome back. I'm here also having another podcast with a new guest in this wonderful festival's day one. I have two amazing young people here. I just met them a few minutes ago. So I would love you to start by introducing yourself, by who you are and uh, what's your passion. Cool. So my name is Suaida Mahjur. I come from Afghanistan originally. I've been in New Zealand for four years now, almost five years. Um, studying full time at the moment and working as a youth leader. And I also do some volunteering work with Mid Stiffer Canterbury in Christchurch, just working with newcomer refugees from Auckland. Welcome, welcome, Sweden. That's great. Thank you. And how are you? Hey, I'm Joseph, um, born and raised in the heart of Te Whanganui Aotearoa. Um, yeah, so I. My passion is to make change. A lot of people don't know that. Um, I hide it very well. Um, but coming out of high school, um, so far I haven't been I haven't been given the opportunity to make you know um, a lot of change. And I feel like joining the National Refugee Youth Council now um, gives me the opportunity. And coming to the festival for the future um, is a step forward. You know, learning um, all these new different approaches to leadership and to making a change. Um, so yeah, that's that's me. Awesome, Joseph. Welcome. That's great. So you mentioned that you want to make a change, and you also mentioned that you joined uh, as a youth leader of New Zealand Refugee Youth Council. So I want to ask you what 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 make you passion to join them, and what kind of change you want to make. I know it feels a big question, right? Yeah. But I see also you're a very passionate person because. Um, it looked like that you took the step that you apply for, right? And you've been chosen to join them. So have you thought about what I want to do with these guys? Why I want to join them? I think um, kind of fostering uh, accept, accepting and caring environment. Because when I was um, growing up, um, yeah, so I grew up all of my school years around um, my mates and my mates, a lot of them were Polynesian and as an African, it was hard to be accepted by, um, you know, the people from my community because of the way I spoke, the way I acted, the way I dressed. Um, and I guess just fostering an environment for, um, you know, people coming in from different backgrounds and refugee backgrounds and kind of helping them feel accepted. Um, yeah, just fostering a caring and accepting environment. Yeah, okay, I well, love that. Absolutely. And uh, I'm sure you will do great stuff with the council. So I will back to Suwaida, right? Did I pronounce this correct? Perfect. So, Aida, so Aida, tell us about your journey to your study and your, your, what you're currently studying and why you're doing that, what you're choosing, the major you're in. Yeah, of course. So, uh, when I first moved to New Zealand, I started from uh, end of year 12 and I did my year 13. I couldn't speak any English, well, well I could barely speak English and uh, the educational system in New Zealand was way different from Afghanistan. Like, it was like, way harder. Like, I wasn't even sure if I could pass high school. But then I did my year 12, I passed my year 13. Um, then I decided to go to university because, um, as you know, the situ situation in Afghanistan right now, the girls are banned from high sc school and universities. So I just wanted to take that opportunity to at least um, do what I can do. And then I started um, my university. I'm doing education and psychology, as I mentioned. I'm doing edu education and psychology because I want to work as a uh, um, advisor with refugee kids in the future because I want to help them to go through the um, challenges that I went through. That, that, but there was no one to help me, so I want to be like a uh, assistant to them, like um, to assist them to go through and uh, all the difficulties they're gonna face in school or in university and everything. So that could be a reason that um, I wanted to step out of my comfort zone yeah. to become a youth leader and to uh, work ref with refugee kids in the future. Wow, wow, I love, love that. And then now you are also youth leader with a Refugee Youth Council, right? That's correct. Great. So I see that you're already in the pathway to make that change. So what inspired you that you joined the council and what do you want to do with them? So what inspired me to join the council was um, I was seeing all the youth work in Auckland and in Wellington, but in Christchurch we did not have, um, we, we still do not have many like workshops or events for youth. 
So I wanted to be someone so they can start a, something in Christchurch for you. Uh, yes. I don't know if it makes sense. It's def <laughs> definitely because I don't think there's a much support right there, right? The um, Christ is, is a very welcoming city for uh -huh. refugees, yes. but there is not much support for youth. Right. Like when you come to Christchurch as a youth, uh, as a refugee youth, mm -hmm. you don't get much support in order to blend into a new community. That's yeah. why I stepped up. I was like, hey, I want to do something so I can be beneficial to my community, yeah. Yeah. Um, at least in Christchurch, if I can't go far away in New Zealand. Awesome, that's great. And we have a capable leaders like you and Joseph. So I'm sure that the council will be active more. And we would love to see that because, you know, we, we support them, we work with them, and they are from us and we are from them. So that's just amazing to see that kind of talent we have in our communities to say, hey, I can do something, I can support, even if I'm students, I want to give back to community. So, and that's where I want to ask you the questions about a little bit of this festival. How is the vibe so far? And is it your first time, guys, joining this? It is my first time, mm -hmm. so I'm um, I'm liking it so far. Um, yeah, so many people because <laughs> New Zealand is a very yeah. quiet country. So since since I moved to New Zealand, it's, it's been very quiet. Yeah. And I live in Christchurch. If you've been to Christchurch, you know what I mean. So yeah. I was like, hey, there's people. I'm gonna have fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, enjoying the um, listening to the speakers so far. Mm. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, especially the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. It's, hey. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. How about you, Joseph? How's, how's so far? I know it's uh, like a mid of just the day one of the festival. What, what What's your, the, what the vibes you can see today? Um, a lot of positive vibes. It's, um, it's just good to be here, eh? hearing the speakers in the morning. Um, the mayor about how she's talking about um, authenticity, really related with me. Um, but a bit of a rocky start to the day. Couldn't find the other um, youth council members. I was kind of... Um, alone for the first what, uh, two and a half hours, but nah, nah, found them now and um, yeah, it's nice to connect with them and um, it's making the day a lot better so far. Amazing, that's great. Okay guys, so I will just ask you the last question. What will be your message if you want to send to anyone who is listening and watching this podcast? So what kind of message you want to send them? Anyone of you want to start? Um, one message that I could give, give, oh, excuse the English. Uh, one message I could give the youth would be that just get out of your comfort zone. It doesn't matter how hard, how challenging do you think it would be, but just get out there, just get out in the world. And if you put one step forward, the next one just gonna come your way. It's just as easy. I love it. Amazing. Exactly. That's that's the one. Thank you. Awesome. How about you, Joseph? Um, the message I would send would be. Um, you know, don't let anyone stop you from making a difference. Um, you know, there's a lot of people out there who will um, kind of stand in the way of you trying to make a change, but, um, you know, don't let that stop you from being yourself and doing your best to make change. Well, look at these guys. I'm really enjoying these kind of people. Hey, look, I, this is what's quick catch up, right, the podcast. I would love to have you more in a conversation more in our studio one day. And also would love to see you guys one day in that big stage to inspire many others. But I'm sure this podcast will go viral and will be just amazing. You will be inspiring someone. Thank you again for your time, both of you. And I wish you all the best and enjoy the festivals. Thank you for Koriro. Thank you for your time. Thank you guys. Thank you, Kodron. Thank you for having us. Thanks so much. <laughs>